All right, today I'm gonna to get into installing my big league striper on my zero turn. Let's get into it. All right, since the last time I made a video on this, I have made a couple of updates to my mower. Uh, really, two little changes, minor changes. One's aesthetic. The second one is just a functional thing when I'm in the backyard cutting by tight spots and trees. So let's check out the functional change first. All right, so the first functional change I made to Mr. 52 is I drilled the hole in the flap right there. What that allows me to do is when I mow, I can pull the flap up and it lets me get through a little bit narrower spot without hitting this flap all the time. So what you can see is I use the bungee cord going through that hole all the way across and then I just clip it onto the lift bar there. And so that just narrows up my deck a little bit and makes it a little more easy to mow. Let's take a look at the second change which is purely aesthetic for me, but I love it. Check it out. So I made some stickers and you can see here the vinyl lettering of Mr. 52, which are just mailbox letters from Lowe's. All right, so when you get the big league striper, here's kind of what the kit looks like. Lays out the diagram. I'm gonna follow mounting option B, which does require to put a hole in the frame. Here are the brackets once I've laid them out. So you see the thread right there, that'll go through the 3 8 hole. A washer will go on each side of the frame. Um, and then you just bolt it on and then tighten that Allen wrench hole right there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, so let's get to putting the holes in the tractor. All right, so now I'm gonna rough fit the brackets. You have this bolt that goes through with the 3 8 thread, and then you have this washer that has that little Allen wrench hole, and then I'm gonna put a washer on, and then I'm gonna stick the thread through the hole, put another washer on, and then tighten down a nut on there. So that's pretty much all you're doing. All right, so now that I have it loose, I'm just gonna attach the brackets to the striper loosely. I'm just gonna take the bolt, lock and washer, put it through the bracket, just to see how it sits and looks. All right, so there's what the striper looks like on the back of this. So I need to make sure that that gap and that gap are the same because they do ride in the center of the tires. I think what I'm gonna do next is tighten the bracket, but not the bolts at the bottom so that I can still slide it left and right on the track. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the bolts uh, that hold the bracket in place uh, before I tighten these down. So this will be the next thing. Here is the tricky part when you're drilling your hole is you wanna make sure that you're clear of this frame. So that's why when I put blue tape, it kind of spaced it right where this isn't gonna be the way that I still can reach it with my, my wrench. So um, it's important that you really pay attention to where this tubing ends so that you have access to that, that screw. So I have my Allen wrench on the outside. 
take my wrench on the inside to hold the nut in place and then I just turn the Allen wrench until it's tightened into place. All right, so really what I have left to do here is I just need to now check the gapping here and there to make sure it's correct, bolt it down, and this striper will be ready to go. So right now this gap right here is the same as that gap, which if the brackets are where they're supposed to be, I can really just now start tightening down these bolts on each side and this thing's ready to go for its first mow of the year. All right, so that's the install of the Big League Striper. Uh, let's see how it kind of rolls here in the garage back and forth. It just got done raining, um, so I'm not gonna go out there and press it down, but let's just see how it rolls on the back of this and see the install was done pretty good, so let's see. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button if you like what I'm up to. Other than that, Suburbia Dad out.